It's your boy, Underdog Crypto, aka Jay, here with another cryptocurrency video. Folks, today is a how to video on the project Phantasma Soul. That's S O U L ticker sign. This is a video specifically to show you how to set up your Phantasma wallet. Now, there's two different types of wallets, and I'm going to get into that. But one of the things I liked about this project that I want you to have an opportunity to look at is the fact that inside of these NFTs, you can infuse soul, token, and other cryptocurrencies providing you value. And I told you in a previous video that I'm going to help you to get into this wealth by getting paid to learn and paid to listen. There's going to be NFTs I'm going to be providing to you that you can get that will teach you lessons. And if you just hold on to the NFTs, it will have fundamental value because you will be given crypto. This is a very interesting time in crypto where you can empower yourself to get wealth by taking the initiative to get started. And I'm going to explain that in another video, but this video is specifically about how to set up your Phantasma wallet. So without further ado, let's get started. The Phantasma ecosystem. It is an ecosystem that allows you to go to different markets. This is ghost market.io now this is where you can buy sell create nfts everything from music to art or entertainment whatever you can look for you can find in this market now the soul token is the currency for the most part on this project and soul has exponentially went up in its price over the last 12 months now I am going to be showing you different things and in this platform, I will be providing instruction, research videos, and also music NFTs that you can access. But in order to get into that, I need to teach you how. So let's get started. If you're using Phantasma, you have two options for wallets. Today, I will go over both of them. You can either download the Poltergeist wallet, which is a desktop based wallet, or the Ecto wallet, which is a browser based wallet. Regardless of which one you choose, either one will allow you to conduct business on the ecosystem. Now, here's the Ecto wallet, and we're going to go through the steps. So, if you're ready, let's go. Step one. You need to go to www.ghostmarket.io. To the right side, you will see an icon of a wallet. In green, I have highlighted there. Click on that icon. Step number two. You need to click the icon and press the button that says Add Wallet. Step number three. Once you click that, you will see the middle option, which I highlighted in green, that says Phantasma. Click on that at this time. Step number four. Once you click Phantasma and you select it, you can see it here in green. You want to go to the next step. Step number five. Here on this page, you will see two options for wallets. You can either choose the Ecto wallet or the Poltergeist wallet. For the purposes of this tutorial, you'll be selecting the Ecto wallet. Step number six. In the Ecto wallet, this is a browser based wallet. This is using Google Chrome. You can add this to your browser extension by going to Google Chrome Web Store. Step number seven. 
Once you add it to the extension, in the top, you will see an icon. It kind of looks like a teardrop that's in blue. And click on that icon and you can press create to start the process of creating this wallet. For those who might be using Windows, there may be a little puzzle piece, that icon, which hides these icons. You can click on that to pin this Ecto wallet if you do not see it there. Otherwise, simply click on the icon, which you can see here in the video, press create. Step number eight. Once you click on create icon, it says every Fantasma wallet unlocks access to rich ecosystem of next generation smart NFTs, powerful decentralized apps, lightning fast transactions, and a seamless user experience. And it's going to ask you to generate a wallet. Step number nine. Select generate a new wallet at this time, which you see highlighted in the middle in green with a check mark. Step number 10. Once you press that button, it will bring you to this page. You will see address, width, and hex. Now yours will be filled out. I removed my information for this video, and that is the start of your wallet. Step number 11. You will see your wallet address after you press the next button and you'll press enter once you see your wallet address. Step number 12. You will select multi-chain, which you see in the top, and you will then press the green button. And then below you'll press continue and you'll check that box. Step number 13, you will enable swaps and that's still under the multi-chain. Now it's asking you to insert your WIF to generate the swap public address. This was the information you received previously. Now this is a personal note. You should know that this WIF and hex address is private. You should never give out this address to anyone. It will allow anyone with this information to access your account. If anyone asks for this information, more than likely it is a scam. You need that information, make sure you write it down somewhere where it's safe and offline, and you can use that information for this area on the setup. Once you press continue, you'll go to step number 14. Enable swaps. You will insert your WIF to generate the swap public address as you have been given that previously and run that information down. Press continue to the next step, number 15. Now, you will see at the top right on www.ghostmarket.io the icon for the wallet and you're going to press connect wallet. Step Number 16. Now you will press add wallet. Step number 17. You'll go back to Phantasma, which is the middle icon, which I highlight in green, and you're going to select Ecto wallet. Step number 18. Once you press Ecto wallet, you're going to press connect. At the top, you will see that your wallet will be connected to the ghostmarket.io. Step number 19. You are all done. That would have logged you in and connected your Ecto wallet to the ghost market account. You can now buy, sell, and trade your NFTs. All right, that was the steps for the Ecto wallet. Are you with me? You can always go back, go down to the bottom of this video, and you will see this is time coded, and you can go back through the steps if you need to set up your Ecto wallet. Now, let's use the desktop wallet called a Poltergeist wallet. So if you're not ready, get ready, and here we go. Setting up your Poltergeist wallet. 
You can see this at www.phantasma.io. You select dApps. This is going to be using the Windows version, but be aware it's for Mac, Linux, Android, iPhones as well. But this is going to be for Windows. Step number one. After you go to that website I just previously showed you, you're going to click the Windows icon and download a folder. At the time in which I did this video, the folder was here, as you see. 2.7.0 is the version. Step number two. You will then go to where you downloaded the folder, select Extract All, which is highlighted in green with a check mark. Step number three. Once you have downloaded and extracted it, you will see the Poltergeist Wallet application, which you see here highlighted in green. Now, you will double click on the Poltergeist Wallet and you will see there the little blue ghost and that is going to start the process. Step number four. You will press run once that process starts to get started with it. Step number five. Now, on Windows computers, it will state Windows protected your PC. You will select more information if you choose to. Step number six. Once you click more information, you will see the app is called poltergeistwallet.exe and a publisher will say unknown publisher. You can select run anyway at that time if you choose to. Step number seven. Once you select run anyway, you will go to the next step. Step number eight. It will then ask you from Windows Security Alert if you to allow access, if you wish to allow access, you can go on to the next step. Step number nine. You will now select generate new wallet after your Poltergeist wallet appears for the next step. Step number 10. You will then see words here, which I highlighted in green and I have covered up for security purposes, but these are your seed phrases. You need to write these down. They are private and not to be shared with anyone. This will gain access to your account. Write them down correctly in the order in which you see them. Once you're finished, press continue on the bottom right, which you'll see highlighted in green. Step number 11. Now, the next step, the seed verification, will give you a series of numbers this is referring to the numbers in which the words that were in your seed phrase were provided to you. Write down the words based on the number in which it was given to you at this time from your seed phrase. That is it. Your poltergeist wallet will be set up at that time. And if you remember, you can go to ghostmarket.io and you will to make sure that your wallet is connected by simply logging in and you can have your ghost market set up so you can buy, sell, and trade. That was it. You have now seen both steps to set up so that you can start participating in this ecosystem that is going to be continually growing and being cutting edge with smart NFTs, gaming, and also the ability for you to receive NFTs that have infusion of soul and other cryptocurrencies that can give you a base value to your NFT collection. That's a great thing. Why not collect the knowledge and allow it to huddle and grow as you grow? This is unlike buying something that diminishes in value or listening to someone and that gives you no value back. Not only can you gain from it, but you can resell the content that you buy for a profit and you can then keep that as well. That is the power of generational wealth you got to find new ways to obtain it. Now, folks, this is what I'm going to do. 
If you're trying to contact Underdog Crypto, I'm opening the community back up for you to get involved. We have to take action. If you want to contact your boy Underdog Crypto, you can find me on Twitter. I am at Underdog Crypto 1. And also, if you want to find me on Telegram, we have a community. And that community is research-based. If you want to find me on a QMNT and Telegram, look at the link in the description of this video. And I provided that link so you can link up with other individuals who are like-minded, who are on the same financial journey as you. You can see it there if you would like to be a part of this underdog crypto community. And folks, effective this month. I'm going to be training you cyber investigations and 15 other different certifications. I am certified as an instructor and I'll be providing you that content. We will be doing one on one training so you can get the fundamental value of how to approach this digital currency and all the things from cyber investigation to fraud examinations everything you need to become better researchers and also utilize these skills in various ways. I hope you participate. I'll be putting the NFTs out there for you to join as I offer classes to you. Well, folks, that's all I got. Make sure that you're checking it out. I already have posts under this particular uh, program, and I want you to see all that you can see. Well, thank you again, and until next time, this has been your boy, Underdog Crypto. Yo, I'm the dog, I'm the dog, I'm the dog, I'm the dog, I'm the dog crypto. Flipping my bank account, so I flip the bag, made a flip like a flip phone. I'm the dog, I'm the dog, I'm the dog, I'm the dog, I'm the dog crypto. Look at my bank account, so I flip my bag, I'm a millionaire crypto. I'm the dog, I'm the dog, I'm the dog, I'm the dog, I'm the dog crypto. Flipping my bank account, so I flip the bag, made a flip like a flip phone. I'm the dog.